Hey, how are you doing today? I hope you're having a good day. We're going to talk about something interesting. These batteries from Amperus, they're going to help change a lot of things. So let's get into it. All right, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. We're going to talk about these batteries from Amperus. Uh, they are a really good battery that's going to change a lot of things. Amperus batteries are a leader in next generation lithium ion batteries with its silicon anode platform. It's once again raising the bar with the verification of its lithium ion cells delivering unprecedented energy density of 500 watt hours per kilogram, resulting in unparalleled runtime at approximately half the weight and volume of state-of-the-art commercially available lithium ion cells. And all new battery cells delivers potentially industrial disrupting performance with battery breaking discharge times. Amperius next generation cells are well positioned to power products in the fast growing aviation and eventually electric vehicle market. Estimated to be collectively over 100 billion in battery demand by 2025. These cells provide a runtime of 200% compared to state of the art graphite cells while being lighter and smaller than other batteries with the same energy content, says John Bolstein, president of Amperius Labs. This latest validation continues Amperius track record of producing the world's most powerful battery cells and sets an industry benchmark for next generation battery technology that will ultimately revolutionize how high we fly, how far we travel, and how long we can use our devices. The 500 watt hour kilogram battery platform significantly expands boundaries for customers and is a tailored solution for applications that require maximum discharge time without compromising key features such as aircraft payload and without having to increase vehicle weight. The new batteries demonstrate both high gravimetric energy density and volumetric energy density with exceptional adaptability. The customizable platform allows customers to select the option to either increase energy content in a battery pack without increasing weight, reduce weight in applications that target a fixed energy content, or a combination of both. We look forward to taking advantage of Amperis 500 watt hour per kilogram cell to further develop Zamper's unrivaled stratospheric endurance capabilities, says Pierre Anton, the Airbus subsidiary developing the 100% solar electric high altitude platform station for connectivity and Earth observation applications. Amperis is a valued current supplier with a great track record and we are confident that Amperis batteries will deliver the capabilities we need. The record 500 watt hours per kilogram energy density performance was verified by Mobile Power Solutions. The recorded 500 watt hour kilogram energy density performance was verified by Mobile Power Solutions a leading testing house of offering comprehensive battery regulatory compliances, safety, and performance testing. The result indicates that this cell model provides 504 watt hours per kilogram and 1321 watt hours a liter at 25 degrees Celsius. Amprius Technologies Incorporated is a leading manufacturer of high energy and high-powered lithium-ion batteries producing the industry's highest energy density cell. The company's corporate headquarters is in Fairmont, California. 
where it maintains an R&D lab and a pilot manufacturing facility for the fabrication of silicon nanowire anodes and cells. To serve significant customers' demand for its high-performance silicon anode lithium-ion batteries, Ampris recently signed a letter of intent for an approximate 774,000 square foot facility in Brighton, Colorado that initially provides a potential of up to 5 gigawatt hours manufacturing capacity. Ampris commercially available batteries deliver up to 450 watt hours per kilogram, the industry highest known energy density cell available on the market today. Based on Ampera's current level of battery performance and pilot production, the company will be able to use its proprietary anode technology to deliver battery cells that contain energy density levels that approaches two times the performance of current commercially available graphite cells so Ampris is really doing really well for itself and it's stationed in California as I brought out. And Sandy Monroe actually also commented on this. And uh, let's, let's take a look at that. Monroe live. And uh, this is kind of like breaking news. Uh, this morning at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, uh, the folks over at um, Ampris released some information. We've known about it for a couple of days, but we weren't allowed to put anything out until now. And uh, so I'm, I'm here with Anthony, and um, today what we're going to do is <clears throat> talk a little bit about this new battery, which is really exciting. Um, this is a 500 uh, watt hour per kilogram battery, and um, quite frankly, this is really a big deal. <clears throat> it's using a silicon anode platform um, with their lithium ion uh, stuff, an unprecedented density of 500 watt hours per kilogram or 1300 watt hours per liter. Um, Anthony's got some little sketches here to show you how this kind of compares in the marketplace. So on a gravimetric scale, um, your Tesla 2170 is around 242 uh, Rivian using a different chemistry is at 259 watt hours per liter. Uh, 4680 is a little bit lower just because they took out the silicon from the anode. Mm. Um, and a pouch cell, which is a little bit more efficient just due to the packing, is around 285. So they're jumping all the way up to 500 watt hours per liter on a cell <laughs> density, energy density. Yeah, and then uh, on volumetric, um, what their website says 1400 for one, but the presentation said yeah, 1300. 13. But we're jumping from 689 for the Tesla 2170, 722 for Rivian 2170. Uh, 626 watt hours per liter for the 21, 4680 Tesla and a pouching at about 712. And they're jumping almost to double, yeah. uh, more than double in most cases. But actually now um, you see that this battery company, Ampris, is you know a company that we really need to keep our eye on. So um, let's do that. But now we're going to get into the accelerator program. So let's look into that and see what's going on with the accelerator program. We know that Aptera, uh, I'm checking this kind of early today. Uh, yesterday there was 400, I mean 745. Sorry about that. Um, so today let's see how much they have climbed. So, cause that was a pretty big climb that they did yesterday. Uh, of course I didn't check it in two days, but okay. Okay, look at that. It's only been a day. And we have 760 investors now. Look at this baby climb now. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Way to go, Aptera. Oh man, I am loving this. Let's get this baby cranked up and have the biggest party in the world. Now they're up to 760. That's, um, what, 15? 15 more investors, 10 million, and they're almost at the 11 million threshold. All right, we know they're gonna get past that because at Terra, like I said, you can slow down a paradigm shift, but you cannot stop it. And this baby is coming, it's like a baby on the way. It's gonna pop out when it's ready, and at Terra is getting ready to pop this thing wide open. All right, Aptera, let's go, man. This is awesome.
awesome. All right. Well, if you're new here, um, please subscribe, ring the bell, hit the like, you catch all my new videos when they come out. So now I'd like to take the time to thank my patrons. You guys are awesome. You guys keep me rolling. You're the ones that, you know, inspire me to keep making more videos. And thanks for the info. You guys know who I'm talking to. You guys really uh, keep me straight, uh, even though when I mess some of my videos up. But I do appreciate you guys and I appreciate all that you do and keep giving me the information I need to keep getting better and better. All right, you guys take care and uh, we'll see you on the next one. And very soon, Eptera be rocking. We can't wait to get our Eptera and cruise around the world. You talk about somebody showing out. Oh my goodness, when I get my Eptera, I am going to show out, baby. All right, y'all have a good one. Y'all take care. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.